how I got off my addiction to carbohydrates and got strict into the carnivore diet, baby. You know, first of all, a little background, I was vegetarian five freaking years, five years vegetarian. Carbohydrates like crazy. You know, you eat the fruit, lots of fruit, tons of fruit, filled with carbs, a lot of raw plants, yeah, a lot of raw food. However, what happens after that? So I'm doing the one meal a day intermittent fasting, then I want more and more and more. So I end up with carbs, bread, crackers, uh, rice cakes, you know, the list goes on. Carb crazy. I had this belief in my head that for whatever reason, I couldn't survive without carbs. You know, I, I never in my life did a low carb diet. Never. Never tried it. I, it was just, that's too hard for me. That's way too extreme. I, people have had an incredible success with it. I was realize it, but it's just too far, too far out of my head. Couldn't figure it. So, but June 1st, my trip up to Seattle, I made the decision, watched the uh, Jordan Peterson interview with Joe Rogan, started watching Anthony Chafee videos, YouTube, got some information from my friend Tony up there in Mount Shasta, and boom, all of a sudden, here I go, carnivore all in. It was more of a punishment for myself on my London trip for screwing up my passport. Here I go, I went all in on the, on the, car, on the carnivore diet, did a three-day fast, came back down to California, went in and ate beef jerky and had a sirloin. It was a, one of these, I had my first steak at a average style restaurant, definitely not grass fed. And it was the most amazing piece of food I've ever had in my life. I just had the pure steak and eggs and it was absolutely delicious. My buddy advised me, I was like, what should I order? He's like, just get the freaking steak and eggs, man. That's the carnivore diet. And I did it. I was falling out of my chair. It was that good. I was literally falling out. I mean, I, I'm not a food person. Foodies get all about food. I'm just the opposite. Food is food to me. But this one steak, the first one that I had was like, it was like heaven on earth. At that point, I knew I was on the right path. So I must have been nutrient deficient. So at that point, I made the decision. I was like, no more carbs. I'm just going to this carnivore diet. I'm going to stew it. I'm going to make 21 days because 21 days makes a habit. So I want to start with seven days. After seven, I'm going to get to 14. After 20, 14, I'm going to hit the 21. And then I'm going to hit 30, and then 60, 90, 120. Now we're past 120 days and we're killing it and we're strict on it. So very, very, almost no carbs, no craving for carbs. Carbs are gone. You know, sugar, gone. Think about it, getting rid of sugar. That's just, sugar is no, is no good. I mean, I don't need to tell you. Anybody knows sugar's the cheapest thing for manufacturers to use it's no good so getting rid of sugar itself was probably one of the biggest benefits for me having sugar in my life with carbs because fruit massive amount of, of sugar in fruit i was eating so much fruit i was eating so many apples and all sorts of fruit you just call me a freaking fruit plant i mean it was just nuts big giant fruit salad on my head you know it was just crazy so you know i'll tell you though from from being that you know, obsessed with carbs, thinking I cannot live without carbs. My body's going to freaking fall over. I'm going to pass out, no energy. To then making a decision, it, it really came down to making the decision, experiencing that amazing steak for the first time. And all of a sudden, it started becoming easy. I was like, I'm not, I don't need carbs. I'm, I'm doing it. And that's it, period. I made the decision. I'm doing it. And that's it, period. And it was so delicious. I didn't even think, I would see the fruit in the first like few days and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not getting fruit. No, thanks. I'm not getting any of those carbs. No way. Why would I want to eat the, those raw plants anymore? They taste disgusting, you know? And that's the sad thing. I was eating things that I didn't even like. Yeah, I didn't enjoy eating. I didn't enjoy eating raw, raw vegetables and raw plants. I did it because I thought it, it was good for me. So, you know, getting away from the, the that and then carbs in general became a natural transition, you know, with the carnivore diet. And I'm not talking lion diet where it's strict red meat for me, but it's just going to be as much meat as I can eat, eggs, butter, heck of a lot of beef jerky, baby. Beef jerky is delicious. And I'm starting to eat like Greek yogurt, kind of experimenting with that. But I'll tell you right now, you know, having a, a beauty appointment with my girl Kelly out here, who's been seeing me for a while, she's clearly being able to sell that my physique is just changing, getting better and better and better and better, stronger, filling out. Okay. It's getting tighter, more crisp, more defined, you know, and it's not only the physical aspect because the physical aspect, you know, I could see and measure because it's, it's tight, man. It, it's just really paying off. But mentally, 
the mental aspect of having no crash down from the carbs and just having consistent throughout the day energy of easily being able to get to that one you know target meal a day of let's say starting eating around six o'clock and then going from there i mean that seems to be a lot more you know disciplined right now with this no carb carnivore diet so i'm having the carbs it's hard for me it was hard for me to stop eating so ultimately changing from vegetarian five years Going into now strict carnivore and no carbs, basically a no carb diet has been incredibly efficient, incredibly effective. I mean, it's from a guy who never thought he could ever shake the carb addiction to now finally, finally being able to drop it. This is Gavin Mail. There's so much more to come. You know, I've got so many gems right now of, of information that I haven't begun to even share and talk about. So subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And freaking hit the notification bells, make a comment, like it. See you next time.